Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And we're going straight into a build because we have the Advanced Destroyer Compact. We also have the Advanced Destroyer Large. We're going to do both at the same time. Um, this is an interesting hull. Let's just make them as enormously chunky as possible. Uh, <laughs> how fast do they go? 36. Okay. Uh, they might struggle because I made them fatter, but we'll try it. Uh, ooh. That one doesn't quite fit. What about this one? Yeah, that fits perfectly. Very nut. Wait, do these have... They do. <laughs> Funnel mounts. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay, what secondary towers do we get? Oh, the dual gun tower. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Put that like there. I know it seems a bit weird, but I kind of like it there because the blast shield looks like it's protecting the <laughs> depth charges. And then I can just put whatever I want on it. Hmm. Right, I'm thinking fives, obviously. Uh, Two at the front, and one here. Uh, the rest, we're going to need a torpedo launcher. Hmm. Maybe go double torpedo. Yeah, I could go double torpedo, or I could try and fit some more guns in here. Um see how we go with the double torpedo. Hmm. And we definitely want a minesweeper on that. Yes, massively overweight. How about if I drop a torpedo? Yeah, that helps. Hmm. Are these towers particularly heavy? Uh, well, they're not light, are they? Um, wonder. Oh, you can. That's an amusing option. <laughs> okay. Um, what happens if I make them zero beam, zero... No, no, we do definitely want the beam. I don't think I want the draft. I think it looks a little bit weird if I add that. Hmm. Oh, do you have these cutouts as well? Uh, seriously? <laughs> no, but two inch going to be perfect there. Um, well, I'm, I'm liking the ship, but it's just so flipping heavy. Yeah, I think that modern tower is too heavy. I'm going to have to go with a lighter one. Let's go for the um, heavy modern, heavy modern one. I think it makes more sense putting it up here. Uh, can I go back to regular beam? Nope. Um, I could make the ship shorter though. We don't need all this length, all this bulk. Yeah, let's 
make her a 3,000 ton. That looks reasonable, even if it is overweight. Uh, I know I made my overweight problems probably worse. But uh, I think this, this is a layout that I can work with. I can make, I can try and make this work, I think. Right, let's sort the gun lengths. Okay, five inch, 35s, two inch, 55s. Sort the armor as well. Okay. Overweight. Hmm, that funnel is very heavy. Let's go for a smaller funnel. It's genuinely just a bulk. I think the beam is isn't hurting me. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What about natural boilers? Yeah, it helps a little bit. About single shot torque launcher. Yeah, that helps a bit. Reduced ammo. That doesn't help very much. Uh, depth charge one. Uh, helps a little. I don't think the mine hunters are going to help very much. No. Just need to lose 5%. I could go mid. Or oh, I could make it cramped. Give me a percent. Mini or standard. I don't want to reduce range because it's already not amazing. But there we go. We can go for something like that. Um, they're not the best, I have to be honest. But I don't. I think their bulk will <laughs> provide a fair amount of. I haven't actually looked at the base stats. Yeah, well, not that much better. But anyway, there we go. There is an R class. Yeah, I think they'll do okay. I think they'll do okay. What? Are, how, just out of interest, if I make them 35.5 like the others... Yeah, it's a, it's adding all those bulk kits. That's what does it. Oh well, uh, we'll save that one, and we're gonna make a new one. And this is going to be the advanced destroyer large, and this is gonna be again thirty six knots. This is gonna be the S class. Uh, now then. We make you a bulky boy. Are we going to run into the same problems? I wonder. Now this one, I reckon, has just a little bit more room. We can maybe get, yeah, three guns on the front. And 
And then on the back. All that space. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, we could be <laughs> supremely cheeky and have an unreasonable number of guns. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that's going to fit in the weight. <laughs> Not once we add all the uh, kit to it. It's not terrible. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually <laughs> somewhat better than I thought. Oh yeah, I was gonna have the wee little uh, two inch guns in here. Hmm, 7%, 7%. Yeah, the, the, the tower is very, very heavy. I'm gonna go with the one again. And the small funnel, just uh, on weight savings. Uh, we also have, a f uh, of all things, a forward weight offset. It's like, really? Forward weight offset? Who's sure about that? Um, I haven't done the armor either. This thing is, uh, that looks so weird if you put that on there. Again, I'm thinking maybe of going slightly shorter. There's just so much length here I'm not actually using. Where does it change? Yeah, right there. Uh, could we go draft zero and 4,000 tons? That makes more sense to me, right. See, now the forward weight offset, not nearly as bad. I'm going to get rid of those extra guns. Um, fun though they are, <laughs> uh, I don't think they're a, a good idea. So basically the S will have an extra turret compared to the R and uh, they're bigger because a thousand tons I can do on just making it cramped. Uh, right, armor 1.5, Something like that. Uh, 1.5, 1.5. Oh, do I have enough to make it to stand it again? No. Tack some more superstructure up. No, I couldn't. We'll just leave it at that. I've got a little bit of uh, room for a refit. Can I upgrade a bit of charges? No. Uh, but there we go. 
the S class. A little bit of a forward weight offset still. Push that right back. Not that far. There. Still works. That's the best I'm going to get, though. Um, I mean, four percent is higher than most of my ships, but it's not terrible. Uh, where is it? That's what it actually does. It's kind of like a one percent debuff. But uh, yeah, they should they should do well. A lot of firepower on board. Pitch and roll. Incredibly bad, though. <laughs> You'd think on a ship this big, it would be more stable, but apparently not. Anyway, I'm going to save that. I'm going to build 20 of each, and uh, I will see you, uh, and I will show you the names. In a Here we are. Here's the R-Class from Racer up to the Russell. And then we have the S-Class from Sable up to Stone. Hinge. So all under construction. Uh, I don't think we'll be approaching our construction cap. Nope, not even close. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. There's no wars going on at the moment. Obviously, uh, China pieced out. Uh, I think Russia is going to be the next one. So I'll be back either when war with Russia kicks off or if something interesting is happening. Or potentially beginning a cruise, new battle cruisers. Wait, ages. There we go. Yeah, this one. So this one gives me uh, the modernized battle cruiser. That's going to be the Admiral Class Block 3s. The Super Battle Cruiser, which I'm going to wait a little bit on. Uh, similarly, I'm going to wait on the Super Battleships and stuff. Um, but it does give me the large cruiser, which means we can make a uh, sort of British Alaska type ship. Um, that's what I tend to end up building on those, but they they can be really nice little cruiser killers. Oh, finally getting the uh, Mark Mark Five five inch uh, refits. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to change how I'm doing refits. Uh, so I have been doing them kind of religiously every five years, but that is starting to become hard to do and starting to become uh, not practical in terms of shipyard capacity. So. What I'm going to do now is, if I get a key tech, i.e. a gun tech, then I will refit those ships that carry it. So I'll refit my destroyers with the 5-inch guns um, when I unlock this in about a year. And then, you know, when we unlock uh, various other things, then we'll have to deal with that. Speaking of, we have Mark 5 9s, 10s, and 11s means all of our heavy cruisers um, can be kind of dealt with. The cities already have Mark V 9s, um, but the county class, here they are. This was one of the problematic ones, and I just want to have a look and see if there's anything I can do to get them up to snuff. They're still an excellent ship, don't get me wrong, but this is the problem. <laughs> An 11-inch gun does not fit on this bar bit. Uh, I don't have any more towers. I have to... Uh, so... It's not an option to change that. And I don't get access to... Uh, quad 11s, because I could go quad quad or something like that. I think the biggest... Really... I think the biggest gun that will actually fit on one of these is probably going to be like an 8. Eights and nines fit, tens don't. Now, downgrading them that much, I don't think is okay. So I think, unfortunately, the, the count is just going to be stuck on their 1925 versions. 
Um, which is a shame because they're one of our most effective ships. We are getting another heavy cruiser soon. Uh, heavy cruiser 2. So we could um, use that to make a follow-up. Uh, a few people have been saying in the comments, oh, um, you should just replace them, like build a new class, same names, and then scrap the old one. That I have done that in the past, but the whole point of this campaign is that old ships need to be kept around. Um, so the cannon class is kind of end of life. Uh, the Bellerophons were another one that really I just cannot make work because you basically can't fit a 12-inch gun up on this bit anymore. Uh, the Myrtles, I would have to re-gun uh, to 5-inch, I think. Um, but potentially that could work. So I'm going to load them up and see what we can do. Because, yeah, the 6-inch gun's just no longer practical. Yeah, it would have to be 5 inch. Cool. I'm going 5 inch triples. I'm not a big fan. Oh, they look comically huge. And I really dislike the triples on these. I go 5 inch jewels. Still looks really silly. I don't think those work. And that's the only options I get. I would actually kind of go... That works, weirdly. But uh, it's going to insist I have a main gun. So the Myrtles as well, um, I think, are at the end of their their refit line. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, no. These flies just look so, so weird. And I, and I don't like regunning anyway. I think that's not, not really in the spirit of it. Um, right, the other ones were the Dominion's Again, I just cannot get the uh, Mark V 12s to fit. The Orions, however, potentially could be refitted. Um, there might be a way to get them to work. Let's have a look. But you see how big these guns are. So I'm going to take all but one of the guns off. So really we'd be looking at a... Tw oh yeah, this is 13.5, so not A 13.5 inch gun, triple gun, on the front here. Like that. Um, and... I think a 55 would be be fine and then can we fit two on the back it's gonna give me an half weight offset yes I could <sighs> let's push that gun right to the front I'm sh I'm pretty darn sure there was no way to get it well, maybe, actually. If I go for a, a thinner one, go for a medium. No. What about a very tall? Yeah. Just not enough space. So, going to have to be a... Big bugger at the front. Right. Let's see if we can squeeze any of this stuff further back. Oh, shoot. Shift the 
tower forward. Can even shift a funnel forward if I wanted. Um, I think we can do it by shuffling. I know I'm giving myself a four way offset here, but that is partly on purpose. There. Not the prettiest ship in the world, I will admit. <laughs> but it will allow them to continue to fight, which is the important thing. Um, right, let's take the RDF off and put in our actual radar. Uh, you can get the high end shells. The Crip 5. New oil. Uh, uh, up the flash protection. Could both boilers. Can I get any more speed out of them? Twenty three, twenty four. No, 24 knots though. A couple of knots of speed, that's good. Pipper range? Nope. Uh, pip of torpedo? Nope. Uh, that'll have to do. So, a bit of a weird refit, if I'm honest. I'm not sure I like. That. They're nowhere near as nice looking. Which is bothering me. But they will actually function. <laughs> uh, and that, I think, is quite important. So we're going to save that. Uh, and I'll book them in for a refit. And I'm going to see you again uh, when there's something to talk about. Welcome back. Uh, we have some more designs. Uh, first up, we have the Modern Heavy Cruiser 2, but we also have the Modern Battleship 2. Oh, yeah. Um, and the Super Battleship. But I'm going to wait on the Super Battleship for, I hope, reasonably obvious reasons. Um, now, why you unlock the Modern Heavy Cruiser 2 on a different tree and so late, I'm not sure. Um, but these are going to be our... Replacements for the counties, basically. Um, they're going to have 11-inch guns, I think. I think that that is going to be a requirement. But uh, the Mod Battleship 2, I'm not sure. This is going to be the Lion class. Or is it? Yes, it is. It's going to be the Lion class. Um, now, our... Ex well, existing, they are out and about. Uh, where are they? <laughs> the KG-5s. Can't see them. Too many things in the ship list. Uh, <laughs> they could do 32 knots. So, 32 knots it is. Oh, those do actually fit. Just. Just. But doesn't match the rear tower. So let's go down one step. Okay, that's a bit better. Now, these bad boys, I don't see any reason to be light on them. So the KG-5s are kind of... Uh... Ah, here they are. So with their 16-inch guns, they're basically like an Admiral Class Block 2 that 
had battleship level armor. Um, but I'm thinking something slightly different for these guys because, yeah, our highest Mark III gun is the AT. <laughs> Which means it's going to be a Britomo. <laughs> um, I do love that gigantic. I know it's too heavy, but it just looks so good. Oh, actually, it doesn't with those. Okay. Uh, is it just a huge? Okay. Save the gigantic for the super. Yeah, huge. Huge looks good. So yes, 18 inch, 50 caliber guns. Very nice. Nine of them. Something, basic layout, something like that. Okay. Uh, bounced steam, all the nice things. Secondary guns, uh, what do the KG-5s have? Five inch, we'll stick with that. Uh, one, one there, one there. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Can we get them to 45s? Yeah, 45s. Nice. And three inch guns. Or two inch guns. I think long term, I'm going to go for two inch guns uh, when we finally get the Mark V. So I'm just going to spread some two inch guns around liberally. Uh, funnels, big one, and wow, that mega funnel uh, seven is a chungus funnel, uh, but yeah, it looks good with the the five. Plenty of funnel, plenty of speed. Plenty of firepower. So far, so good. Top end protection, of course, going to be essential. Sticking with Cordite standards. Just a hydrophone. Should be fine. And a Gen 2 radar. Well, okay. I'm kind of surprised to have weight left. Uh, now, the KG-5s had a 18... Oh, did they? No, they had a 20-inch scheme, didn't they? Uh, a 20, 2010. Okay, let's start with looking into the feasibility of that again. Ooh, okay. We go for a 22.11. Gonna push the boat out a little bit with that. I think this is gonna push it. Yeah, especially when I come to do the layers. Uh, It's going to be too much to push all the way out to 22. Let's just stick with the same 2010 then. So they're going to have the same protection as the KG5s. There we go. Uh, a little bit of an off oh, wait, what's it? We've got spare displacement. Might just be able to fix that by pushing a turret out rather than having to fiddle with everything. It's gonna make the towers. 
one notch. Perfectly balanced. There we go. Got a little bit of weight spare. Uh, space screw quarters? Yeah, space screw quarters. Because these things are going to be probably flagships. Uh, and that's it. Lion class. It's a little bit spicier than the uh, actual lion class with 18 inch guns. Oh boy. Um, yes. Okay. <sighs> well, wow. all right. We'll save you. And uh, let's do the heavy cruiser while we're here. Come on, heavy cruiser two. Yeah, the three, the city class one, is I think the more we got first. I think. Either these are re wrongly named, but this looks like an older ship. <laughs> so, I, 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 I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, this is what we've got to work with. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to widen the beam. Okay. Couple funnels. Eleven inch gun. One, two, three. Uh, 60 caliber. Damn. <laughs> that is a, that is a punchy, punchy weapon. Get some five inch guns. Yeah, just a couple five inch 45s. And some two inch, I think. Or shooting up transports. They'll look more normal <laughs> and less like a porcupine um, when I get the Mark V 2 inch. So, unlike the counties, uh, these things don't have torpedoes, although the torpedoes on the counties have been pretty successful. Uh, should maybe bring some launches just in case. That's a nice to have. Right. Uh, oh. ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Stand at this fuse. I'm going to run out of weight on these. No, I think those Chinese ships keep the zone up. It's expensive, but it's it's doable. Uh, now, can we find the county class up here somewhere? Yeah, there it is. They had a 12 inch max. So it's going to be 12.5, uh, 12.6. 12. Six. 12. Ten five. Uh, 
1.5. Something along those lines. 4%. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't do the speed. <laughs> 32 knots will be fine. Oh, that gets me so close as well. What are we talking? Like 10, 10, 10 tons? Is that all 10 tons? That's basically a couple of two inch guns. Yeah, take a couple of two inch guns off. And we're there. Uh, right. Off we offset off a little bit. range on them thanks to that engine efficiency uh, yes they should do just fine as a kind of replacement to the counties now a name uh, a name so hmm Well, do you know what? We never, we never built the Hawkins class. It's going to be the Hawkins class. I know that actually came before the counties. It also means I don't have to have a theme, <laughs> a theme name. <laughs> uh, so there we go. A, uh, a fine addition to the fleet. Both of them lions in the Hawkins. Again, lions. I'm going to have trouble with the names. I'm going to do the names off camera and I'll show them to you in a moment. Okay, it's a couple of months later. Um, I had a problem with the Hawkins class. Uh, although I could save the design when I went to go and build them, it said it was overweight, which was really weird. So I had to swap them down to natural boilers. So they lost a little bit of range, but otherwise it's fine. So here we are from the HMS Europa down to the HMS Hampshire. I have tried to avoid uh, <laughs> duplicates, but I'm not always able to do that. And here we have the Lion class, Lion, Neptune, Restoration, Implacable, and Defiance. Very nice. Uh, the big limit for us at the moment is actually, um, all these guys need to be on limited, we're just wasting money otherwise. Everybody on seat control. Oh, of course, I never even bothered <laughs> turning them off uh, from the war, I think. Anyway, there we go. Um, our biggest problem at the moment is shipyard space. I'm trying to keep it, you know, okay. Uh, building big destroyers like that um, does take up quite a lot of uh, shipyard space. So... Although I have unlocked the new cruisers and stuff, they're going to have to wait a little bit while we construct all of these heavy cruisers and the new series of battleships. That's mainly what's going to limit our designs. So I'll be able to do more designs. So we've got quite a lot to do. We've got the Admiral Block 3s. We've got the large cruisers. And then the two supers. Super Battleship, Super Battle Cruiser. So there's lots to design. Uh, in terms of politicking, uh, yeah, so well, the Soviet Union now uh, looking like we're going to go to war with them quite soon. Uh, they don't have a large fleet, though. Uh, they've been at war with the US, who are now our ally. Um, 
and Spain and I think France was at war with them for a while. Uh, and they were at war with Germany for a long time. So their forces have been kind of depleted. But uh, yeah, we still need to keep an eye out. They've got stuff over here in China. Um, they've got stuff in the Baltic. They've got stuff in the Black Sea. So yeah, we... we uh, oh, and they took Sumatra. That's clever of them. So there's plenty of things that we need to do. And Thailand. Okay, there's lots of things that we can attack. That's good. Anyway, um, I will be back when there's something to talk about and if I'm doing sign or if a war breaks out. Well, the very next term <laughs> here's something I didn't expect. United States has declared war on Austria-Hungary. Do you know what? Yes. Part of the reason I allied with the United States was that so that we could get uh, some more wars. Austria-Hungary. Sure. Whoa. What are you doing, Windows? No, don't do that. Um, so... Austria Hungary, eh? Well, we should have. Yeah, we've we've got a, a sizable fleet down here. Um just in general. Uh so yeah, be blockading the Adriatic. What do they actually have? Wow. Almost nothing. So let's send a fleet straight up to round about there. Uh, we're going to send War Spite, uh, Roll Sovereign, and Roll Oak, along with the Courageous, the Glorious, and Renown. We're going to send the Kent and the Constant with them, just to look for mines. Uh, why not? We'll send the two R-Class, and we're going to leave these two in port to uh, keep an eye on things. Send the Avon as well. No, we'll leave the Avon. Um, she can uh, interdict convoys and things. But that lot should be enough to blockade the Austro-Hungarians. Austro-Hungarians are scary on land. They're all the way up to eastern Germany, um, as it happens. So we're going to need to deal with that too. And that means sending a fleet down this way into the Baltic. Uh, to keep an eye on Kiel. So we'll send it like there. And, uh, well, the KG-5s. They'll uh, do the job very well, as I'm sure. Nelson and Romney can go with them. Uh, so can the Dorsetshire and the Scunthorpe. Ample, I mean, why, why not? We'll just send everybody. Uh, it would be nice to send some destroyers as well. Uh, Sunderland has some. So we'll send the Robin, the Rapid, and the Sable as well. And uh, what? <laughs> what? Yes, we'll just use their canal. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is a that is a baller move. <laughs> uh, is that because the controller is Western Germany, and Western Germany is owned by uh, an ungoverned territory? So it's like, yeah, we'll let you in this side. And then it's like, oh, uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if that generates a mission. <laughs> see you in a moment. Welcome back. Uh, well, it looks like uh, us going out to deal with the Austro-Hungarians has annoyed the Soviet Union a little bit. But screw you. War it is. Um, wow, that is... <laughs> that is not a fair fight. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm glad I left some ships here because they'll be able to interdict anything coming out of the Black Sea. Um, but with Russia joining the war, there's quite a few territories that I'd quite like to take off Russia. And that's mostly in the east. So we're going to have to start dealing with that. All right. Little tiny, tiny little destroyer. Oh my goodness me. Got War Spite sitting there. You've got Glorious as well. Not doing a bouncy bouncy. Look at that. Such a nice looking ship. Got the Pulse as well. Some revenge class as well. 
Look at that. Lovely. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to bother fiddling with divisions. Just going to go on a look see. Constant and Ken should be able to uh, catch up pretty quickly. I imagine this is going to be a ghost battle, to be honest. <laughs> if I was that destroyer, I would be turning around, whacking the engines to full, to flank, past flank, <laughs> give me everything you've got. <laughs> Oh my goodness, no. Just run away! Run away! <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a ghost battle. Uh, I'm going to roleplay that as the Austrians um, sending a ship out to have a look. Uh, well, you know, the British coming in force. Yes. <laughs> yes, the British are coming in force. Right, let's see what the other battle is. Well, it seems like it's all kicking off. Uh, Spain has now come in against us. Uh, I have to have a look at what Spain has. Uh, the United States is following us. Uh, oh, our alliance with Japan broke. That's interesting. It's not the end of the world. Uh, no. So, what does Spain have? Oh, they've got a, they've got something a little bit more interesting. Got some uh, spicy stuff going on. Uh, we do have ships in the area. Um, but it might be worth sending some ships down to try and get a blockade. Because we don't have anything in Bay of Biscay. Uh, we should have plenty of power projection everywhere else. I'm not sure we've got enough in the western mid to break them but this fleet once we've dealt with Austria can, can move over and deal with it uh, so ah we found the Maximilian a, oh, I wanted to call it a Brandenburg but it's not a Brandenburg it's a Barbenburg class uh, 613 inch guns that's pretty light but we have only have the Edinburgh and the York along with the racer, first time we see the R class, uh, along with some Greek ships. Yeah, Greek ships. A G class, two G class, an HIJ, a C, and another C. Okay. Could be interesting. Let's see if we can torpedo a battleship. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to detach uh, the racer, because she's mine. Um, these guys. All go forwards, please. Nice to see the city class again. Right, let's have a look at this Austrian ship. Interesting. Light on the mains, but very heavy on the secondaries. She is not going to be easy to torpedo. <laughs> need the cities to soften her up, I think.
Hey! Yeah, that's good. Taking out some secondary guns. She's firing. On the racer. Smoke. She's firing out now. Looks like she's going for the uh, cruisers now. Nope, she was going for the Faulkner. those secondary guns. Just keep up that pressure. taken a surprising amount of damage. Good grief. I was just trying to, I'm just trying to like blast off the uh, secondary guns, but uh, she surrendered. Well, okay. <laughs> Fire starter approach worked, apparently. Well, that's left the uh, convoy somewhat vulnerable, I would say. Others might say that the convoy is now complete toast, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, look at that. Never even got to ID her. It's a fast takedown. 60,000 tons, 200 million trained crew. Not the fastest in the world. Not a lot of main guns. Armour was okay. Especially the extended bits. Uh, reinforced bulk hits one. That's a little underwhelming. See, if you if your ship surrenders and it's only on 50% structure, you, there's, there's a problem. <laughs> there's a problem you need to design somewhere. There's me thinking I'd have to like do... Suicidal torpedo runs into it. Nope. These convoys are going to melt away. Very good. Very good work. Uh, York. <laughs> York and Edinburgh. Damn. Yeah, look at that. Almost no damage apart from the Faulkner. Yeah, the Maximilian just swamped. Swamped and destroyed. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, I think there's going to be quite a lot of action coming. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next episode for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.